Happy Friday, and I am, for one, very, very glad it's here. Long week, 4th of July celebration, so we survived that. Perfect weather in Chicago, for once. Went to the fireworks display, that was amazing. Actually, also did, for the first time ever, the Riverboat Architectural Tour. I highly recommend that. I also highly recommend the 2011 Old Vine Zinfandel, I'm sorry, Old Vine Tudal Winery Cabernet Sauvignon. I'll hold it up, it's gonna be backwards for some of you and it will be forwards and perfect for others. And those cellar angels that are astute and understanding of the wine industry, they recognize that Old Vine really doesn't have an official definition. Uh, we do kind of use it a lot in Zinfandel and they're using it in this Cabernet uh, or we are, for example, because these Cabernet vines, on average, are 30 plus years of age. So, Tudal Winery is in St. Helena, just north of St. Helena off of Big Tree Road, and it's one of those wineries that uh, is what I would refer to as a drive-by winery. You would drive by this winery because you wouldn't know it was there on your way to Chateau Montalena or on your way to any of the other wineries uh, up on Spring Mountain, Kane, Schweiger, Keenan, Terra Valentine, you would drive by this winery. This winery is tucked right on the valley floor, uh, literally a thousand feet from Failia, from Rombauer, from Casa Nuestra, and it's tucked between Route 29 and Silverado Trail. What's interesting about this is that this is the flagship wine from Tudal Winery. And it has an amazing color, very, 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 very dark purple, uh, deep purple, if I were to be, pay homage to some 70s music. But it is one of those wines that just makes you stop and go, okay, this is why I like special wines. Uh, it's from a vintage that was largely maligned in the media. 2011 had uh, some detractors. It has since rebounded because there was a lot of great wine made in 2011. You just have to have a source to be able to get it. And this has two winemakers. Uh, Ron Vilstiek has been at the winery for over 18 years. And then Rudy Zudima. And Rudy, if you don't know Rudy, you will. Uh, very, very up and coming, has a lot of sophisticated technology that he brings to the winemaking. But Ron actually, you know, reminds me of a little bit of Chateau Montalene because Beau Barrett up there has binders that he has basically charted every single day of temperature, humidity, wind, rain, and it's going across 30 or 40 years. So Ron having 18 years, 18 vintages at the same place, uh, you get to learn a few things about the rows and the vines. And there's a couple, there's a neat thing about this uh, winery that I'm going to share after I get some wine in me. Colonel Doug is watching. Colonel Doug, welcome to the Cellar Angels World Headquarters. Couple of things. Uh, bouquet, crushed red fruit. A lot of red raspberry, a lot of dark cherry, uh, a lot of plum, a whiff of cinnamon. And again, I'm a big fan of cinnamon. Um, but one of the things that's neat about Tudal Winery is 80-40. They've been growing grapes for 80 years. Okay, they've been making wine for 40 years. 40 years is impressive to be able to make wine at one place. That is a long, long time. I think one of the most interesting, fascinating aspects about the Tudal story is the Napa River. Because a river used to run through it. So when you think about the Army Corps of Engineers and that Napa Valley is really a giant floodplain, this river has crested its banks many, many times and caused significant amounts of damage over the years with regards to flooding. So in the 50s, the Army Corps of Engineers decided to reroute parts of the river along where Tudal Winery is. So in, now what you have is a lot of sediment, a lot of mineral, a lot of deposits that, are, that vary literally from row to row. So one row of vines can be on some clay, one row of vines can be on some limestone, one row of vines can be on some sandstone, and this type of minerality and this type of complexity comes through in this wine. Very, very unique. That is just an awesome wine. Good mouth coat, uh, no spice, no, oh, I didn't give you the specifics. $85, normally, 
but on Seller Angels it's 69 so go to the Seller Angels website and you can get it for $69 450 cases made not gonna find it in a lot of places 450 cases made 14.3 percent alcohol will age wonderfully for another 15 to 20 years and again this is a story worth sharing and that's what we do at Seller Angels your exclusive gateway to the world of wine wanderlust thank you so much for all your support I wish you a very very good weekend cook someone a meal as my friends at Manja TV say and bring them a bottle of wine cheers everyone